quería decir algo. Come back soon. This is the story of local caverns rumored to be haunted. Ghostly noises coming from deep within the bowels of the earth. No one who's entered the caves has ever returned. Mysterious sounds. Something between the booming of thunder and the howling of dogs. And a mysterious light glowing within. carved on one side, broken on the other, definitely part of something larger. It's almost familiar, but I wonder. Lara, I think I have one of those stone things here. I've got the others. Now what? Now we put them together and see what your grandmother is trying to tell you. Bilad understood grandma better than anyone. Meet me at her place.
was hoping Abigail would be with you. She's on her way. Hi, auntie. <sighs> oh, it's been too long, child. Oh, let me look at you. Mm, still with the short hair, I see. <clears throat> auntie, we found something in grandma's map. Actually, your hair could be better, too, now that I see you again. The pair of you are like tomboys out chasing after. Auntie, please. Why did Grandma want me to have the map? I deserve to know. Hmm. Do you remember the stories your grandmother used to tell you as a child? About a magical, hidden place built by your ancestors. Yes, but I grew up, and she grew old, and nothing magical ever happened. But she didn't forget her promise. It's there, in your hands. Why now? I'm only the custodian of the map. It's up to you to discover its purpose. Abby, I'm sure whatever is revealed in this map will lead to that hidden place and your answers. I hope so. All right, let's take a look. If we place each one of the fragments on the map where they were found, like so... That's the Chakana. The Inca Cross. It represents the three levels of existence. The upper world, the middle world, our world, and the underworld. It also represents the things that make us human. Like the ability to love, to take action, to gain wisdom. But if I'm remembering correctly, the center of the Chacana is said to represent Cusco the capital of the Inca Empire. In the context of the map, we're hundreds of miles from there. Well, there are many interpretations of the Chacana. Uh, Cusco, um, a portal from one world to the next. It is also said to be the eye of God, a guardian keeping watch over us all. So what are we looking for? I mean, this has to point to something, right? Let's take a closer look. There has to be something we're not seeing. Something... There! I thought it was a small blemish when I first saw it, but in this light, it looks like a Maya hieroglyph. Maya? That doesn't make any sense. We are Inca. What does it say? Hahil. It means truth. Truth? Truth about what? I don't know. Does this place on the map mean anything to you? Grandma and I would sit there when she told me stories about the hidden place. <laughs> Perhaps you'll find your answers there. Are you ready? Keep the map. I'll meet you there.
your radio close. I'll stay in touch if I find anything. Sounds good. And watch your ass in there. You can count on that. This architecture is definitely Maya. So strange. Why would my grandma want me to know about this place? That counterweight looks connected to the bridge. be another counterweight. might move the pendulum. Exploding that gas might move the pendulum. To guess I'd say this place is a massive forge, but on this scale, what would they be forging that would require this kind of heat? Sorry, I'm not going to be much help to you there. This pendulum could be moved to reach the wall behind it.
explosion would help me reach the pendulum. bridge must have a counterweight to raise it. over it like sentinels. But what are they... Platform should go back up. The platform should go back up.
Looks like the platform is locked at this level. This path must lead to a gas trigger.
Abby, I've got your grandmother's journal here. It's... she's written to you. You'll want to read it for yourself. It might be a lot to digest. And you, you can't leave me hanging like that. Go on, what does it say? The short of it? You're a descendant of the Maya Queen Avarane, on your grandmother's side. You're the latest in a long line of protectors that... What? Queen Navarane. Grandma is related to a Maya queen. Wait, I'm related to a Maya queen? <sighs> yes. You're a guardian from what your grandmother said. It's all here. What does that mean? I, I'm not even Maya. I... This day has gotten way too heavy. Bilar's got a lot of explaining to do. Abby, I found a mural depicting a great journey. A Maya queen leading thousands of her people from Mexico to Peru. Why did she lead them here? There are many theories about what happened to the Maya. There are old favorites. Invasion, civil war, collapsing trade routes. But one theory has become very popular. That the Maya civilization was ultimately doomed by a period of severe climate change. She was probably leading them out of a decades-long drought. Where'd they all go? The gas is on. The sarcophagus here. It's beautiful. Definitely royalty. A sarcophagus? Like a coffin? Exactly like a coffin. I thought it was a forge. Whoever is buried here, they were very closely tied to this place and its purpose. Made it. See what I have to trade. Everything Hi, is for hello. sale, except Remax drum. Come find me if you need anything else.
You found the hidden place? It was a forge, but something more as well. Yes. It is the resting place of the Maya Queen Abarane, the first guardian of Kuakyaku. She built the forge to construct an artifact of great power. What artifact? Uh, I don't know. Mariana told me that what was born from that place had long been lost, but she said the message it contained would always endure. It was a message of hope for the future. If you knew about all this, why wouldn't you tell me? I'm sorry, but I made a promise to Mariana. So what? I'm supposed to accept that I'm Maya all of a sudden? Abarrane's bloodline has been diluted over the centuries, but you are descended from her. So what does this mean? You're a guardian, Abigail. Like Mariana and her mother before her, all the way back to the time of Abarrane. <laughs> I can't be a guardian. I have responsibilities here. I've... You've been protecting this village for years. Hasn't a little bit of you always known? Felt, compelled, somehow. You are the keeper of the story now. That's what Grandma used to say. She said it was her job to keep its story, to keep it safe. She promised that one day she would show me where it was, and then I'd be the keeper of its story. She didn't forget her promise. She just had a different way of showing you. It's so like her, isn't it? She couldn't just tell me. Had to make a treasure hunt out of it. <sighs> I loved your grandmother as if she was my own sister. But sometimes she was a gigantic pain in the ass. Abby, I think I'll leave you two alone to talk about things. Sounds like you've got some catching up to do. Thanks, Lara. Here, I want you to have this for all your help. And before you say anything, it's customary, so you kind of can't say no. Thank you.